All right, got three jobs going on at one time here. This is a uh, 2006 Chrysler Pacifica right front fender. I'm just gonna run through the entire process on this one. This is a good, good opportunity to show you just from start to finish of just one little part and show you the whole, the whole paint process. Gonna start with wax and grease remover. You know, all the way from Taiwan, so there's no telling what's on it. First thing you do is just clean it. You don't want to sand any contaminants into the surface. You don't have to go crazy with this, but just get it fairly clean so when you sand it, you're not spreading oils or grit around and putting gouges in it or giving, you, giving yourself a dirty surface everywhere so there's just a few places you could clean. I'll stand this upright or either put it on the other uh, panel rack over there. It's got a bumper on it now. But I'll, hold, I'll hold it up vertical like it'll be on the car when you're ready to paint it. This will be silver so it's going to get a medium gray sealer on it. He said he's not too worried about the color match. I told him I'd like to blend the door but he's not real worried about it so I got enough paint just to do this. And I'll repackage it and take it to him. I actually work with this guy, so just run it back to him. We work about 35 miles from here, so he lives closer that way than I do, so I'll just meet him at work and take it back. All right, I'm going to let that dry off, and I'll come back and get ready to sand it. Okay, the next step is to start sanding it. I'm going I'm to go with 400 grit with a soft interface pad. You can use a red scotch right on the whole thing, but this is a lot faster. I'm going to do everywhere I can get with this, and then I'll go around all the edges with a red scotch bright. You can do it in either order. I just do it in this order. That way I know every, every glossy spot that I've got left after this has to be done with a scotch bright. It just saves me time because if I do the scotch bright now, I'll end up overlapping that with this when I could have just sanded with this first and just hit the glossy spots with that. I'm also going to try to not cut through anywhere that I can help it. Cedar will cover a cut through, but I don't want to, you know, to minimize it if I can. I'm gonna have to change this. I used this on a Honda bumper a minute ago, and it's a little worn. And this eco tends to be pretty hard. Aftermarket parts is quite thin too, so as soon as you get it dull, just stop. You go right through it. Get the idea. I'll be back when I've got this done. I'll start on the Scotch Brite. All right, I'm going to flip it over to do this edge and the back edge back right here. I like to flip it first so that if I happen to put any kind of a scratch in it here, I can go back and when I flip it back over, I'm going to leave it in that position. And I can sand this one more time and get all that out. I don't risk doing it again at the very end.
both over. I'm gonna do in here and then back here. And I'll flip it over and everything else I can just do from the other side. All right, that's it ready to paint. Got the jam areas in here with Scotch right top where the hood is underneath here. And you get this area pretty good because that's where road debris is going to hit it and chip the paint. I still need to sand this area right in here and it'll be ready to paint. I'm going to be back to seal it and paint it. That's the next step. All right, fender's ready to paint. I had that sanded maybe a day and a half ago, so it's set out for about that long, uh, almost two days actually. So I ran over all the bare metal again with a scotch Sprite pad just to get any flash rust off of it. Um, you can't see that, but it's, it's starting to form almost immediately if once you open the, the steel up to the, the humidity in the air. Uh, I'm gonna wipe that down with wax and grease remover two or three times, and it'll be ready for sealer. I'll be sealing some other parts with this, but it's the only part for the Pacifica. Be back with the sealer. Okay, it's ready for sealer. I'll be back with the color in a minute. All right, fender flash for at least 20 minutes. I lost track while I was working on some bumpers. Probably 30 minutes at least. I'm gonna run the tack cloth over it real quick and just hit it with one coat of base around all the edges. Then come back to the front, the outside, and then let that flash do a second coat in a mist coat or drop coat. Alright, I'll give that about a 5 to 10 minute flash and come finish it off with some more base and then clear. Second coat. I'm going to wait about two minutes and do the 
do the drop coat. All right, while it's still a little bit wet, I'm gonna do the drop coat. I'll be back for clear in probably 30 minutes. All right, I'm ready to tack it off for the clear. I only want one coat on all the jam areas, so I'm gonna do that after, well, actually right before the second coat. That way that I get a, I'll get a solid closed coat on the second coat, and then I'll get one coat on the jam. That way I don't have any dry spots around the edges. Alright, that'll get about a three minute flash and I'll finish it off. I'll actually start on the edges and overlap that with the outside second coat. Alright, that's after the second coat right there. Turned out really slick. Won't need any buffing at all. Maybe a dust nib here or there, but that's about it. That's gonna be it for this video. I gotta take it back to them like it is. See you later.